Hello there lovely people, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today after a couple of days I'm back. <clears throat> I was uh, taking a little bit of break, you know, sometimes the weekend off and everything. Uh, I have a little bit of broken voice, uh, weather change and everything, but hopefully you can hear me. So I have planned to do three videos for you. And one is going to be very different kind of video. It's a requested video by someone. Um, that's, you, go, you will see what I'm going to upload. It's nothing to do with fragrances. It's going to be a phone review, which I bought last month. So that's some Samsung uh, S23 Ultra. I just want to talk about user review and stuff like that. That will be the last episode just for fun. And I'm not a technical uh, like tech savvy dude. So I don't know anything much about technology, but I can tell you user review. So if you are interested, but first episode, I would like to do a niche fragrance house. And uh, I sort of like <clears throat> look for it, uh, like reviews, how to even pronounce the name of this brand, but I couldn't find that much. Uh, so I hope uh, someone else, many other reviews will, reviewers will look at this house. Big thanks to Fragrance BD, uh, Shubhavai and both Panthobai, who are always blessing me with uh, samples, gifts, you know, sometimes full bottles I received also in my journey. So I bought fragrances from them and then sometimes I receive samples as gifts. So big thanks to Fragrance BD. This is for you guys, okay? So the house, I'm going to do, I have two samples. I don't even know how to pronounce it and I do not know how the whole name goes, but I am thinking it's Onskad. Uh, I don't know. Onskad. <laughs> Is a Russian name? I don't know. Sounds like Russian, but I don't know. Uh, so this is made in France, so it's, it's a French perfumery. So pardon my ignorance because I don't know much about this house. I'm just reviewing for the first time. You know, this is my very first review on these. So this is called number 30, I guess. Uh, how do you say that? And there's no picture of the bottle. It's just the samples for two meal. Very healthy samples and uh, it stays in there. I took it out and I did test it a couple of days. It's uh, like down a little bit the juice. Juice color is kind of like... Um, you can say orange like so let's the dry down is there for two days i sprayed this two days ago i can still smell the dry down but it's already faint so let's see how this one goes then i'll talk about the next one okay just go one spray because this is very very beast mode so this one when i sprayed for the first time both these fragrances gave me sort of animalic vibe one is less animalic other one is a little bit more so when i smell this this one i feel it's a tobacco sweet think of 100 silent ways no not 100 silent ways uh what's the other one Mm, that had like the boozy coconutty vibe uh forgot the name it was like a fanny of flames you know if you like fanny of flames kind of tobacco this is gonna be really uh, up your alley it's a very sweet smoky mild animalic uh tobacco and it's dark but i like it you know it's not skanky uh, animalic it's an animalic fragrance but very wearable and when i smell this this is definitely a colder setup sort of fragrance i can smell it and i can tell you this kind of fragrances you think of where you wear Pegasus, Herod, Parfum de Marley, this kind of fragrances, Carlisle, this is going to fit that bill for the very same setup. Under 20 degrees, this is going to be very good wearing. And uh, the animalic tone I get from it, it's kind of like a green. Uh, there's something green about it. There's something animalic. There's the sweet Tonka vibe. And then there's kind of like a tobacco. I don't know the notes breakdown, but that's what it smells like to my nose. And it's kind of like damp you know like damp as in like when it rains you know the soil becomes kind of uh, wet uh, then you get that damp feel from the whole nature and art that it's not really dry it's not really you know uh, how to say airy this is more like it's stuck you know the smell is stuck at one place and it's very solid on the skin you'll get good performance i think these are edp concentrations most probably yeah edp concentration for me it doesn't really fly off from my skin but if it's a full bottle big spray maybe it will so overall the fragrance dries down the sweetness like goes away what you remain with is that dry animalic tobacco scent and it's very much like a mature scent i would say this fragrance would be really good for people who likes Burberry's london and you want to upgrade to something nice if you like nishane fragrance this is going to be right up your alley and uh, you can wear, wear this in the colder setup night time you know uh, if you know Nikolai Pechuli Intense, Nikolai House, this one reminds me of very high class. So definitely niche or indie house, I would say very good quality. I don't know anything about the pricing and I don't know uh, how much bottle sizes, but it's a good fragrance to explore. So check it out. This is called Onskar. I don't know how I'm going to say this, but this is the name. Onskar, number 30. I'll give this overall 8.5 out of 10. And the juice color seems very nice. Second one, I'm going to do the number 50. And uh, this is also given by Fragrance BD to me. And the thing is like, you know, why I'm really grateful to them. 
I reviewed many fragrances from niche in the Uber India houses. I was never going to buy these bottles and to create content, you know, these things really helped me. You may think like, whoa, it's just a sample. People may think it's a sample review. I admit it. I don't have a full bottle. I have shortcomings with these. But when I create a content, people get to know about new house, you know, like you never really heard of it. Maybe you try to get samples from somewhere and then you may like it, you know, that was the whole purpose. So the 50, it's a EDP concentration also inside just like dark, nothing much. There's no picture of the bottle. So what I'm going to do is perhaps I'll try to Google. I haven't done that bit lazy. I'll Google it. I'll try to find the pictures. I'll put it as a cover photo. So this one, the juice color, it's kind of like this. I did uh, spray this a little bit more. I think it's a bit more empty than the other one, the sample. So this is more like one ml sample left. And this one is a little bit more left, okay, with the previous one. So number 50, uh, this one, it's more animalic, but I really like it as well. Let's spray this. There's a castorium or that civet kind of note in there, like kuros. Just one spray, not more than that. I don't want to fill up my room with animalic touch for the whole night. Man, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. There's a freshness of a floral there. You know, there's like a white floral gardenia or something, jasmine. Oh, I don't know. There's some so beautiful. It's a floral perfume. Again, the base gonna have some animalic touch, but it's a green floral, very fresh. I absolutely love it. There is this again, uh, the oldies vibe, vintage vibe. You know, it's not a cheap smelling perfume. It doesn't smell like mainstream designer. I actually like this over the previous one. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I remember uh, Ashton had a fragrance uh, in his house. He sent me a sample set, right? So I did those a victorian tobacco or something the green one you know i really loved it i wish i could find a bottle that fragrance that i don't remember if it's victorian tobacco or not but the green bottle i was mesmerized by it by it this one same real effect like same effect okay oh man it's uh it's leaking on the top anyway so when i smell this really beautiful fragrance it's a strong leather vibe that i'm getting it's a strong fragrance you know it reminds me of kind of like a powerhouse slash very modern kind of a leather uh, it's definitely like white suede kind of a leather and reminds me of maybe dior's dior or chanel russian leather i don't remember there's this leather <laughs> cannot remember the names but it's a very posh kind of like a leathery sort of smell that you get from brand new leather seats from the car that you get from this very beautiful uh it doesn't smell like so it's a tuscan leather but that quality i definitely would say this is a very beautiful fragrance and i give this overall longevity is very good on both these i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten so there you go this on 50 gets nine the previous one 30 gets 8.5 thank you so much for watching thank you fragrance bt for your uh, sample gifts time to move on to the second video where i'm gonna rank uh, arm of city fragrances take care bye bye